Oil, oil, oil. It's been, ugh, everyone has been demanding oil. Ever since I first showed it, this is a, des I was gonna say dessert, desert style map. Everyone is like, do oil, army bases, oil. So we're gonna do some oil today. We're gonna do oil in both countries. And um, we're going to do a speed build first of all, and then at the end we're going to go through everything, manage it a little bit, make sure it's making money, and just do everything, you know, as well as we can at this point, because we still don't have a huge city, we don't have enough uh, commercial areas to be useful for the whole area. So there's still going to be some little bits missing, but let's get into it. So the first one is going to be in Burgessie, which is the, the country that we've been working on the most. And we're going to quickly do a little highway entrance and exit, just something quick and basic, just because we need something right there. I'm probably going to change this anyway, so I'm not really concerned if it looks really that good at the moment. But here we are. This is the area that I've designated that we're going to use. It's right next to the highway. We've got a nice big flat open area, so it's really easy for us to build as well. And um, I try to put in pretty much every single uh, facility that is required and then we and then I also put in a few other ones that convert it to I think petroleum or you guys will see at the end we'll go through all of the different facilities but I do try to use pretty much all of them through much trial and error in terms of designing I like to actually think about how the, the actual shape of this area is going to be so like a town I like to design it in a certain way so I like the center area to be more compact and then the outer areas can be a little bit more spread out a little bit you know more vegetation and things like that and how I do it is the inner areas has kind of more of a lower style buildings and then the buildings on the outskirts are all of the higher what are they called the big tower things the the drilling rigs so the drilling rigs I put all, all around the outside and the, the actual like warehouse buildings kind of go more into the, the middle and actually it looks really good like that and using a grid system it just looks really good so if you're, gonna, if you're planning on doing it yourself and you're not sure what to do just do it like this it looks the best like this and I've tried doing other uh, resource places like this using like wavy and wonky layouts and it just doesn't look as good so we're doing it like this. And we're going to utilize as much space as we can. So we're putting some of the drilling rigs right up against the highway. And I actually put the workers barracks right near the highway as well. So, but I mean, if they're doing their job, they should just fall asleep, right? And they shouldn't worry about the highway. But yeah, it's right next to the highway. The other, the other oil place that we do for the other country is actually going to be way out in the desert, which is a real big... It's going to be quite different compared to this one because this one's right next to the highway and um, it's pretty accessible Whereas the other one you just have one dirt road leading all the way out there, but you guys will see that uh, in a minute I thought I would leave the power line going through there because it kind of it's a nice touch as well Having it going through there and it kind of makes it look a little bit more Rural I guess I don't know it just looks really good. I believe that power line someone's going to ask it's from it's a Japanese style power line if you want to look it up it looks really good and you can move it around as well so it looks better than the the in-game ones now instead of just doing only the oil buildings I'm also going to do like some parking lots and put in a few um, planters and some uh, hedges and shrubs and things like that just to fill it in and um, also I put in some of the, the surrounding trees inside this area as well so it doesn't look like this is the oil area versus this is the, the tree, the forest area so you've got to try and mix it all together to make it look a little bit better but actually I'm really pleased with how this area looks um, I just put everything down really quickly and then like I said at the end we'll go through and we'll have a look at everything and I also want you guys to give me feedback as well because I really don't know much about like managing all of the industrial stuff like this from, from the, the warehouse, what's it called, the, in, the Industries DLC. So if you guys have any feedback for actually making money, I would really appreciate it because I really don't play too much with that side. But throughout this whole series, I have been trying to focus more on actually making money as well as design because when I was doing some of our stock, everyone was like, blah, 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 you're not making money. Uh, um, but yeah, so we're gonna try to do both Okay, so here's a quick look at it before we go into the other country looks really good I 
think I've got like the shadowing really spot on as well. It looks really good. So there's Bersheba in the background. Highway going well. There's not really any issues along there with the trucks. It's all flowing really, really well. So why don't we move on to the other one, which is actually going to be all the way out here. And I invested in a tunnel going through here because I just assume like they're going to be they're going to make lots of money and there's going to be lots of trucks so we need to have a road system that's a little bit easier so a tunnel yes I know it's like oh really a tunnel but out here since we are so far out uh, I am actually going to make an oil city out here so the the people who work there will probably be workers of this area because we do need workers out in both of these areas but we also need commercial nearby because that's where it's all going to go you have all the warehouses but you also need commercial to help make money and things like that so there will be another town out here but the only thing <laughs> the only downside I wouldn't want to live in this oil city because I don't know if I, I'll show you guys at the end, but this is like a valley. No, it's not even a valley. It's more like a, a cup. It's like a meteorite. It's just like a hole in the ground. So all of that pollution, it's just going to be stuck in this hole. And everyone's probably going to die at like 30 from all of the, the pollution in here. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's probably not the, the best area to put a city, but let's keep that quiet, shall we? <laughs> but so anyway, this one... This one is going to be smaller than the other one since this is further out and since this country is not as developed yet but maybe once they have a better oil system going maybe then we will ex uh, expand this oil area and also that's when the country will start booming because they suddenly have money from all of the the oil and i wanted that to kind of be like a bit of a story as well so like you'll notice the second country isn't really anything yet and now that we're putting in oil i want this to be like a turning point not only for this country but also the other one and i'm going to show a difference between how this country uses their money versus the other country so keep that in mind so i'm trying to do something that's a little bit more than just building but also there's a little bit of thought process and um, a bit of a story and some depth to it all Okay, so we're out of the speed build and here we are in the smaller area now Just to show you guys like oh look at that. It's it really is like it's just a big hole in the ground like Oh, that's probably not the best place to live But there is going to be somewhat of a town slash city over in this area here And that's just how it's gonna be like we, we do need to have towns nearby to help make this whole area function but okay just for the fun of it oops why have we got no power so oh, suddenly <laughs> suddenly we've got no power i'm not making a good Im not making a good impression here let's just chuck in a uh let's just throw in something easy and simple um let's just do that one for now all right just just for now eventually this area will be connected up to the whole big grid for this for this country but so here we are and we are producing petroleum and plastic and also just ordinary barrels and at the moment the um it's kind of like the off the off path so it keeps cycling it must reset something to do with the time but in terms of jobs 1205 workers and we currently have only 840 so we, st we still have a good amount and uh in terms of policies i put on improved logistics and also advanced automation but i turned off the safety supervision so maybe some dodgy things might be happening because we're not really being supervised in terms of safety so in this one oh now we're making over 2000 2469 sim dollars so if we go over to the other one and have a look here it is here i i prefer this one to be honest so over here in Burgessir drilling area again we are making petroleum plastic and the barrels and this must be just after the reset but this one has similar amounts of workers 1239 but we actually only have 927 and the policies are the same again but yeah i really like this one i like the just the look of it um i think i think it's these trees and the parking lots that really make it look 
quite nice but you'll notice uh, that's the barracks there as well for the the workers but you'll notice over here i've chucked in a few other extra things so i've put in a household plastic factory and they're producing actually good money i put the production rate up really high and then we also have the food factory over here which is actually making a lot more money i put in this one because we had extra plastic laying around and um, we also do have all of these actually I must have, I do, I do. So over in Samalut, which is this town, there it is, right there. There's a little farming area and a little sawmill forestry area. And that's where all of these ones come from. And we have two little warehouses here. Yes, there's some traffic issues. I don't know, like the way that they change lanes lately has been really annoying. I don't know what's going on with that. But yeah, I put in those two. We've got a police station there as well. But the the major issue is that we still don't have enough buyers for all of the products, which is just something that will slowly adjust over time. So what it says is we need more commercial, basically. So over time, as we do expand um, cities in either country, eventually we'll have enough demand for all of these. But right now, we could probably just turn all these off because really we're not using many we could maybe just use one or two for the moment and then slowly as we have more demand we can turn them back on but i'm not going to worry about that but that's how you would fix it and you'd put in more warehouses as well and um is this one making money yet not really but if we go down here have a look i just want to show you guys um oil almost no uh, it, it goes up and down all the time we're making the most money from the warehouses surprisingly because um, we do have an oversupply for some of the things, so I'm exporting those, mostly plastic and petroleum, but the actual oil itself isn't really making too much money, and um, yeah, it all cycles through. It uh, right, right now it's saying 3.44% of your income is from the industry, but it does go up to about 14% at the highest, but it must be just going through the cycle at the moment, and I do have um, the budget for the warehouses down really low so yeah i think it looks really good i'm actually looking forward to expanding and getting all of our industry things going because we're not we're not going to just do oil and forestry we're also going to do the others and really make them profitable because i want to lower the tax rates on a lot of the areas so we will rely heavily on industry and not the taxes which is going to be something different but doesn't that look good the power lines there we've got the city in the background oh I like that it looks really really good and um, I strategic strategically built it here because this is probably going to be a port area um, unofficially it's not decided yet but that's probably where it's going to be and as for over here we probably will do um, like mini highways connecting up from here going through all of these mountain areas crossing the borders um, maybe some through here as well but that's really way down in the future and uh, at the moment they'll just have to stick with the the slow speed little dirt road but that'll do for now and um, maybe we're making money because I'm seeing a lot of trucks coming in and out oh I just realized that's overlapping there as well I can just push that back a little bit are we making any money? Nope, we're not making money. Okay, this is not looking good. So it's kind of a fail. 5% <laughs> of my income from industry. So it's gone up a little bit. Oh, now we're making money from forestry. But anyway, that is our new little oil area. Huge demand from you guys in the comments. Always saying, do this. And I was. I always was going to, but... Uh, I just wanted to establish the cities a little bit more. But now that we have these, maybe this country will have a boom. So think about that. We're going to have a big city here soon. And keep in mind, how is each country going to handle all of this new wealth? Well, you'll find out. But yeah, it looks really good. And if, like I said, if you have any feedback for how to get this even more profitable, please let me know, but be nice about it. <laughs> I don't need to be read to filth over this because I'm trying my best. But this isn't something that I usually play around with. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.